Hello, Sarah Joachim. Very welcome. You've come to us from Lisbon, Portugal. On this day, 3rd of August 2013, uh, at the event, ISA Act uh, uh, event, scanning event in collaboration with UCATCH, to explain us a little bit about your experiences, what you have lived through since being a victim of electronic terrorism and how all this came about. So very welcome. My open process uh, started in 2010. Mm -hmm. um, I take uh, a tattoo vaccine uh, in uh, March of 2010, two months later. Mm -hmm. I started to have um, extreme fatigue. I started to get late to work. So you took a tetanus vaccine? Yes. And, and two, two months and five days later, yes. I started to have uh, inexplainable yeah. uh, fatigue. Yes. Um, and started to get late to work. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. I didn't know at that, that time what uh, were uh, the reasons for that. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, uh, all the usual effects started uh, to happen. And the when you say usual house, effects, what usual effects uh, were these? Smells in, in my house. Started. Strange smells yes. in your house. Yes. Southern and uh, southern smells, uh, gas, uh, cigars. Um, uh, southern, uh, two, three seconds, uh, the smell appears, and uh, in one second, in two, they disappear like that. Uh, so unusual Completely smells, uh, uh, unexplainable to me. Gas smells. Uh, yes. What else? Uh, Gas, uh, smoking uh, cigars. Yes, uh, you don't smoke yourself. No, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, strange smells. Um, the regular were were that. Mm -hmm. I tried to. I don't. Why? <laughs> where? Where this came from? <laughs> it was very strange. Then. Um, I, I stay uh, 10 days without sleep. Yes, mm -hmm. so your, your sleeping pattern was uh, interrupted. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, they start uh, uh, making cycles, uh, waking me with a uh, sensation of shock on my chest. And uh, yes. the regular, uh, they put me asleep and uh, wake me with uh, shock. So you fell asleep suddenly, as yeah. if it was something induced, uh, not, not coming yes. from you? And then you woke up with a strange we'll sensation on your chest? Electro shock, uh, shock sensation. Uh, a shock sensation, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. um, or I was sleeping, uh, my yes. normal was sleep, and they do that. Uh, we do 30 minutes uh, breaks, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, that I, I not, at that time I didn't register. Mm -hmm. um, then, one, um, in one moment, I hear something coming from uh, this side. Uh, someone talking to me. <laughs> I was looking. <laughs> What's happening? I'm alone. So my you own suddenly home. He heard voices. Yes. Or? yes. Um, they started talking with me. When uh, you say they, two women voices, men, two or? voices. Um, appears to be uh, one man and one, one woman voice. Right. And they start um, talking about things I was doing. <laughs> well, Commenting. Quite, yes, quite your strange activity. what I was doing in that time. Um, when I was eating, they talking about that. And um, um, in the same uh, time, they starting with the recording, uh, 25 uh, Four hours a day. When um, you when you say recording, what do you um, mean about this? Recording um, re re uh, repetitive words like uh, uh, they call me a war, a war of police. So inciting you, <laughs> yes. putting you down. Uh, they appears they have three three kinds of programs. Uh, sometimes they call me war. Other times they are trying to put me um, ideas related to sp a spy. Spion, uh, spionage mm -hmm. um, and um, the things related to, uh, to police to uh, to get uh, violent or, or misbehavior uh, against police officers mm -hmm. 
it, it appears to be a record, it's only the same, only the same. And uh, mm -hmm. when they associate words, mm -hmm. there is a sound like uh, um, war, what a police, what a, what a police, it's a machine. Right, clearly a okay, machine. so clearly a yes. computer sound. Uh, yes, um, it's mostly in this side, almost 100% on this side. Right. Um, always talking. Um, mm -hmm. These last times they were clicking mm -hmm. and clicking uh, a blow and a blow in my ear um, and the talk is constant um, at night too I, I sleep with uh, my player on mm -hmm. I put uh, uh, wet noise uh, low uh, the volume mm -hmm. and I sleep uh, with the phones I can otherwise uh, you cannot sleep. It's too boring, the machine is mm -hmm. always talking. So it's a constant with my harassment, yes. uh, interfering with your you know, day, to li day life activities, yes. it's really disruptive. Uh, you to have told me that it was... Meditation, music, minerals, right. it's quite good to To help. be able to, to relax a little bit and to, to disrupt this, uh, this, uh, this uh, con constant harassment not, all the time. Not uh, often as I would like. Okay. No. Uh, you have mentioned that this was mostly in your uh, right ear? Uh, yes. Of, yes. Uh, we have been scanning today. My colleague Diane O'Donnell is actually still in the room behind scanning people, uh, victims, presumed victims of electronic terrorism, uh, people that this, uh, what uh, Sarah has just described here, is happening to them. Um, and uh, can I ask you, Sarah, what were the results of your scan that you had uh, today? The signal in the right uh, region, this region of the ear. So it came up positive quite in the right strong, ear quite area. Strong, yes, quite strong. The, then uh, was detected a signal in the, this area. Yes. Then uh, your left eye. Yes, and uh, was uh, behind uh, my knee, my left knee, mm -hmm. and uh, on thighs, the both sides, on the middle of the thighs behind, mm -hmm. and was in this area near the the belly and the the, the area pelvic area. Right. So. Um, so we had a few quite clear signal or even strong signals. The, the stronger sin fr signal is uh, from the, the ear, right from the right ear. ear. That's where you were hearing uh, the voices, the voices inciting you, putting you down, and uh, disrupting your sleeping p patterns, as you in the way you've just described, making it almost impossible to sleep, and so uh, that you're now obliged to put this uh, mp3 player if understood uh, on or listen to music to to get any kind of sleep may i ask you did you consult any physician about the symptoms did you go to a doctor or explain uh, and what was the reaction um, it's important to tell one thing too before uh, 2010 yes i had some um, first signs related to this matter but I didn't make an uh, association because I didn't know the subject mm -hmm. was um, uh, uh, my belly is always humid, humid and I have some um, irritation in my uh, genitals in mm -hmm. the skin mm -hmm. and I made tests and uh, nothing was could be zero detected <laughs> yeah. you told me about that yeah mm -hmm. yeah um, in that time, the doctors didn't know what uh, what it was. Mm -hmm. Now I see it was related to that uh, with this uh, phenomenon. But the open process was in that time, uh, two months, if in five days after the tetanus vaccine. Uh, right. So that's when when the symptoms really all kicked the in. All of, yeah, and uh, extend. Right. Okay. Um, can I ask you? In what situation you were at that time? Uh, were you working? Yes. Were you in your hometown? Yes, I, uh, I was working. At, I know precisely the days because I had an Excel with my time of entering on my job. Uh, all the all the, the colleagues in the room had the, that um, Excel, and we. And, and uh, what 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 uh, do you do? What did you do at um, that time? I'm um, I work in a library now. I'm a right. technic. I'm a, Administrative, mm -hmm. but I work in a library. Mm -hmm. um, I have um, a college degree, 
yes. and uh, public re- relations okay. and advertising. Mm-hmm. But I, I don't work in that area because uh, <laughs> the first uh, approach, uh, the propositions were to work full time at uh, zero euros. And uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have uh, <laughs> a home to pay, it's impossible. So, I have um, some, some. You mean the symptoms are so invading that it's impossible to. Uh, no, I, I could work. Uh, I could work in my area, but I don't have the, okay. the chance because right. uh, I was paying to nothing. Uh, <laughs> Family-wise, were you single? Were you living with somebody? I, I'm, I'm single, right. and I live alone. Okay. You lived alone, single, working, supporting yourself or yes, by yourself? Yes, I, uh, I understand quickly. <laughs> yes. They want me without money, without house, mm-hmm. uh, without uh, a way to uh, pay my things. Right. Uh, and look insane. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Um, what uh, I learned to do was to So get you uh, quickly understood or, or thought that uh, they wanted to isolate and discredit you? Um, it's the best way to to put uh, us in a position, um, a weak position in society. Yeah, to put you under, basically. Um, you were telling me that you did talk to a physician about these symptoms. My what was the reaction? My my doctor, when I arrived to my doctor, I, I told what uh, is, uh, was happening, but mm-hmm. I take a dossier with documentation related right. to the phenomenon. And, uh, you talk to your family doctor, to your normal GP? Yes, uh, my family doctor. Okay. And, and he uh, was, I, I arrived uh, and told the situation. Mm-hmm. And uh, at that time I told, I need uh, psychological help. Uh, because I don't know what is happening. I need, I feel that I, I could not handle this alone. I need mm-hmm. uh, some... Uh, you someone yourself that, said that yeah, to him. Someone mm-hmm. that, that helped me mm-hmm. uh, to... to Understand uh, uh, and uh, perceive this uh, this events. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is. Mm-hmm. And he uh, he wrote a letter to go to mm-hmm. psychology help, so and um, they sent me to psychiatry to do an evaluation to pass to psychological. When I arrived to psychiatry, uh, what um, so the psychologist sent you to a psychiatrist? If I understood no, no, that well, no, uh, the process of. Uh, passing to psychology was demanding that I talk with a psychiatrist. Right, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, then I explained all, mm-hmm. <laughs> I made some sessions mm-hmm. with uh, that uh, doctor. Um, Did you bring documentation uh, yes, uh, about the uh, you know, victimization by these uh, remote influencing technologies all with explained you to the, the psychiatrist? The level, the level of technology. Right. She asked me, why, why do you think they are doing uh, this to you, mm-hmm. I don't know, might be a scientific experience mm-hmm. without right. my consent, of course, it's, yes. it's, it's, mm-hmm. it's incredible, mm-hmm. incredible without mm-hmm. ethic. Mm-hmm. Um, why do you think you choose? I don't know, might be mm-hmm. some kind of parameters, uh, genetic, uh, mm-hmm. I don't know quite uh, what uh, could mm-hmm. be, but uh, there are some things in, uh, in, the, in the technology available mm-hmm. that could um, do some effects related to my situation mm-hmm. and I start to mm-hmm. give um, scientific information, uh, media information, mm-hmm. um, the, that kind of mm-hmm. approach to to build the con- the, const- uh, the context of my situation. Yes. Mm-hmm. Then uh, she passed me to psychological. Mm-hmm. So didn't help. <laughs> so I, I left the psychological. Right. to psychiatry. Okay. The, the the approach in psychology is not helping. Mm-hmm. So uh, I will finish my 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 way in, the, in that uh, mm-hmm. in that approach. Mm-hmm. But uh, when uh, I needed uh, to talk to you, may I come back? Okay, it's okay. Mm-hmm. You, you know, right. the, the, one time she tried to give me some medication, to, trying to help me, it didn't work. Mm-hmm. What, kind stop, of, uh, what kind of medication? Uh, was to help me to sleep. Right, okay. So, uh, yeah, yeah, basically yes. sleeping. But, but they have pills, some or? parameters related to uh, psychiatry, neurologic. Right, yes. okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, uh, I stopped quickly because uh, I didn't do work for me and she understood 
and um, I didn't get in the situation of most uh, most TIs that are going to jail <laughs> or locked in some place. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, or uh, are committed to a psychiatric hospital. Yes, uh, or so, okay, you went through this pr uh, process. You didn't feel that you got any help by your psychological uh, assistance or by by the psychiatrist that you were seeing. You quite quickly understood that this, what we're dealing with, uh, technology. yeah, was technology. It was uh, not linked to any psychological or psychiatric disorder. It was technology. That's what you quickly figured out for yourself, because you seem to be a, an individual with a higher level of self-direction. Then you understood that, and did you take then any? Uh, because this is a crime. It's it's um, a very heinous heinous crime that uh, you and and so many other participants uh, that we have today um, have been victimized with. Did you then go that road out to report it to the police, uh, as anyone is t told to do uh, when you're a victim of a crime? My, my first contact with the, the police was in a moment when I didn't understand what was happening to me. And right. the, the police didn't help me. I talked with the criminal police mm -hmm. and, uh, oh, I'm sorry, but I think, uh, okay. Uh, they what did they say? I'm sorry, we cannot help no, you. No, I think I'm sorry, we, 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 you might you might have some uh, problem. Uh, right. <laughs> and uh, I don't, might be tiredness or something. Okay, so they were <laughs> trying to you know discard uh, the, the situation. Yeah, put uh, it back to we you. Need, uh, we need proof, you know. We need something. Uh, okay, I have so uh, uh, someone was filming me on a store. I had some car follow me. Um, mm. This kind of, uh, okay. it's not, it's not uh, it we don't know have case, we don't have anything, might be you are tired and related things that are not related, mm -hmm. might be that, mm -hmm. <laughs> something like that. And um, I didn't try to go to the police because I do not have any uh, physical evidence. Right. Um, uh, the only thing I have is an email that I was sent to a colleague on work in the computer of the work and the time I do the resend button the the, the text is A, B, C mm -hmm. and when I do the resend button mm -hmm. what happens? Mm -hmm. A, B, D, C mm -hmm. right. the D text is a text so you feel like your email is tampered with uh, the, uh, the, the, the content mm -hmm. uh, is related to the, mm -hmm. the content of my email but mm -hmm was not inserted by me mm -hmm. and the, the the format of the letters mm -hmm. is quite large related to the format okay so, so the, it's, your emails it's are a tampered physical with and proof yes, that someone, that someone was is entering in your, in your system and, 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 and harassing you this way and I have some colleagues that I call in work to see anomalies in my computer mm -hmm. uh, sometimes letters appear and mm -hmm. disappear and uh, this kind of things sometimes uh, was um, emails that I sent to my boss mm -hmm. and uh, was the message was law, uh, all uh, disrupted. So on your workplace uh, you are yes. harassed as what that way that uh, your and impacts uh, uh, emails are tempered with. Uh, I proved that uh, the something was happening with my in my work mm -hmm. to my boss, mm -hmm. how I printed the email mm -hmm. like I sent, mm -hmm. and I get to my boss and show the email. Mm -hmm. See, is this is what I did, mm -hmm. and you received that. Mm -hmm. um, of course, it's not much. Mm -hmm. I understand that, mm -hmm. but um, the, mostly the TIs. Uh, start to have few resources, financial resources, mm -hmm. because they start to uh, take countermeasures uh, to um, have some rest mm -hmm. related to the phenomena, and um, they are um, appears to have a multi-platform uh, devices to switching, adapting to countermeasures mm -hmm. of TRs. Mm -hmm. um, what? Um, so financially, this has been, um, yeah, you, you, it has drained your financial resources as well. I had uh, in addition to, of course, the physical symptoms, uh, psychological symptoms, I mean, psychological consequences also by this, this kind of stress. Uh, 
uh, that and harassment it, it is to be a, a victim too. of elect uh, electronic terrorism. Your car was vandalized also? Or? Many times, many times. Uh, at least, at least five. The last, uh, the last event, uh, more, uh, more uh, strange was I had something with my deposit of gasoline. Mm -hmm. uh, if someone put uh, a, a match, they could he, he, the car could blow. I think right. I so that was what? you feel really a, a <laughs> yeah an attempt uh, that uh, even to, 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 to scare yeah me. to uh, scare you uh, or that e it could even be life threatening if yes. uh, yeah right. But mm -hmm. I, f I find out that anomaly because of the smell uh, quickly, and uh, mm -hmm. I don't think I think was my more psychological because I will notice the smell right to intimidate you. Yeah, mm -hmm. more. Uh, of course, if someone did that, the car will explode. But it was quite quickly, I understand, because it's an intense smell. Quite intense when you have a, a leak, one problem on, the, on that. And can I ask you how you then, okay, you found all this out? Uh, apparently, you understood quite quick, quickly uh, that you had been targeted, you know, with remote influencing technologies. I, I did research on it. Yes, you did you, you yourself uh, the research. You didn't feel that, uh, you know, any of the medical consultations or your contact with the police was helping you in, in, in any way. Can I ask you how you then found ISA Act and uh, since when you found out uh, about the International Center against the use of covered technologies and when you decided to then come to this event and, and have uh, to pass the first phase uh, of our scanning protocol, which is phase one, which was in your case positive. That means we found on several anatomic focal points of your body that you were emitting a radio frequency or radio frequencies, which is a highly unusual um, finding. Uh, I found out uh, when uh, exactly, I didn't remember, but uh, I was doing research mm -hmm. and I find I found the website of Magnus Olsen mm -hmm. and uh, I think I saw the link there and uh, in the moment I saw the link there I started to follow you. <laughs> right, okay. And uh, I missed the, the last event uh, related to, to, mm -hmm. to this uh, scanning uh, frequency in, in London. Mm -hmm. Then uh, after that I started to send emails to mm -hmm. know what uh, when will happen something mm -hmm. and, um, and asking questions or mm -hmm. uh, following the radio programs mm -hmm. and always trying to listen mm -hmm. and um, this was more or less I think was the website uh, mind control and how did it feel today to meet other victims of electronic terrorism it's to incredible <laughs> It feel good, felt good. You felt understood. So uh, good. <laughs> I only have one friend left. Mm -hmm. uh, she, she had many. She has many problems with her email. Always uh, messing with her email. Mm -hmm. She changed her, uh, her passwords many times this year. Mm -hmm. Other person she sends emails tells what is happening with your language. It's all scrambled. The message mm -hmm. what, and. Uh, she knows that is related to me and uh, now we talk less only mm -hmm. one time a week because so you feel it, it definitely isolated you also from yes. your your, your uh, friends your family she, also. she was the person that um, always uh, from the start uh, tried to listen uh, at the beginning she, Sarah you might be healed okay you need to look there Okay, but I'm looking, but look what I'm showing to you, mm -hmm, okay? Mm -hmm. Do your own research, mm -hmm. check my data. Mm -hmm. And she checked it. Mm -hmm. And uh, she thought, okay, might be something mm -hmm. here, you're right. Mm -hmm. um, and she started to re do research to help me too. Mm -hmm. And one time was one person that stand on the, the work of place. Mm -hmm. she, she, the person need to enter in the building mm -hmm. and uh, uh, she has a um, uh, glass door, yes. and uh, the, the, man, <laughs> the man stood looking at her outside mm -hmm. all day, mm -hmm. looking at her. Mm -hmm. What she was doing in the time uh, she was doing the research, only one day. Right. Okay. So when that's, uh, she started doing the research, mm -hmm. 
almost like uh, you're like trying you to surveil do her or you're yeah, to yeah. Help yeah, uh, yeah. Someone. Exactly. That's at least here. what she felt. Yeah, so okay, so I think it's uh, we can quite safely say that this victimization that happened to you uh, with remote influencing technologies, uh, of which we have today brought circumstantial evidence that this is happening. So Sarah has certainly uh, also isolated you from your from your friends from your family so put strains on your on your friends and family relations and uh, today you have had a positive experience meeting other victims of electronic ter terrorism here and uh, what is your uh, what do you think what are you going to do for the future are you uh, wanting to uh, go on with this uh, you know evidence finding yes yes uh, process that we're doing here at the if international I center against abuse of cover technologies and also you catch the european coalition against cover harassment uh, are you going to go to phase two which is um, providing us medical uh, with e medical imagery and uh, like CT scan or an MRI scan, and then uh, would you uh, certainly be interested also to, to go to phase three, then uh, which is the scanning in, in the Faraday cage, as we have just done it in last year in October in, in Belgium with uh, very uh, conclusive uh, results. Uh, Are you planning to do all this uh, yes, process with ISAC? Yes, before I came here, I'm, I made a tech and mm -hmm. I to my um, Right here, yes. Because my I told my dog is uh, is getting a bit pain yes. here. Yes, painful. And um, uh, was something some bumps here. The mm -hmm. doctor saw you have some bumps here. It's strange. The other year yeah. didn't tell. Okay, let's do the exam, mm -hmm. but there were no results. Okay, there was I nothing need, I need that could be seen. Mm -hmm. Perhaps on the place. Mm -hmm. The that exam mm -hmm. because the signal mm -hmm. was quite strong here. Mm -hmm. It's not something to put uh, at light. Well, if it's, if it's nanotechnology, because uh, you know, we're talking about nanotechnology here, uh, it's very difficult, uh, even not impossible, to um, see. to see it. Uh, we have only the chance uh, to to uh, discover old technology, which is you know. Uh, sign of grain of rice but, uh, but, but it's, it's possible that we that will not dis discover anything place. but you have done that yes. and, and uh, we'll do the rest of his hands to the rest of the body okay Just to get uh, all the way to yeah the to face. yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah to to really prove your, your victimization yes, of this like absolute heinous crime uh, committed uh, with um, remote influencing technologies uh, and uh, so that we establish a picture here uh, that this is happening on a global scale to many, many thousands and thousands of innocent children, women and men around the globe. And Sarah, I would like to thank you very much for this the interview. Pleasure. Thank you for coming. You. And uh, we certainly hope to, to hear from you in the, in the future and to, to see you back. <laughs> thank you very much.